Welcome back, we're at 27 in this quest to do 50 workouts for my 50th birthday and we're doing shoulders and legs. Now, from the outset I said things, components that are vital are training plans so you know what you're doing and a diary because going back to the original workouts, so we're looking at what weights we did but we're upping it. So I started on 18s and now going to 20s with the dumbbells. So the intensity is still there, but I'm stronger because I've worked harder and I'm 27 sessions in, so I should be looking at it slightly different and definitely feeling different because I'm feeling stronger. I'm going to do this slightly different than all the other previous workouts because we have always trained in real time, i.e. I've done every set. So I'm just going to show you the first set. I'm definitely going to do set two and three because as my old coach used to say, you're only cheating yourself. So just remember that. If you, you know, you go for nine reps, do nine reps, do 10 reps, do more than you need to. Never cut it short because you are only cheating yourself. A little tip there. So let's get straight into it. We're going to do side lateral raises, we're going to do front dumbbell raises, we're going to do bent over rears, and then we're going to do finish on shoulder press. But we'll start with the side lateral raises. Again, knees nice and soft, arms slightly bent, and you lift with your elbows and your little finger, and then a slight pause at the top of the body. recovery as always and then I'm going to do set two and three and then I'll join you back for front dumbbell raises. We're ready for front dumbbell raises, we've got a nice pump on from the side lateral raises, let's go straight into a big deep breath, remember exhale on the power phase which is the up phase, inhale on the way down so you can recover. Recovery, ready for set two and three, and I'll join you for bent over rears. I'm going to train again. Okay, we're really going for it now. So, again, short recoveries are a killer. Really, really good. Okay, bent over, so your back's nice and straight, and you're just going to raise with your elbows, and again, with your little fingers, so you squeeze into your back, right? I saw The Rock doing these the other day, and I've done them before. You can use a bench, you can do them like that on the bench as well. So if you've got back posture problems, you know, take the emphasis out of your back, because I'm, I'm strong in the back, so I haven't got a big issue. Lean forward on the bench, so it's nice and flat, so it supports you, and then do it. You can change the angle as well. Okay, I will join you for my favorite shoulder press. I'm gonna go back to this. Being an ex-international pole vaulter, our emphasis was always on upper body strength because it was power and speed. So I've always had fairly good shoulder definitions and development. So I can lift quite heavy, not obviously unnaturally heavy because for a clean guy, I lift still quite heavy and I'm 49, almost 50. We know that because we're working towards that. So I've up the weight again. Again, I'm gonna to come to down about here just what's ever, what is safe and what is comfortable. Remember, not if you do only do partial raises, then put the weight down because you're just trying to show off and work too heavy. It's about getting a range of motion and power. As you 
see that is heavy, okay? But I'm working within my range, but I'm at the upper end of that range because I'm trying to get fit, look fit, forced intensity training. If you've got somebody with you, just have them pull it up a little bit to get you that extra mile so you're pushing yourself. If you're like me and you're on your own, put your safety bars in so if it does go, it just hits the bars. Okay, we're going over now to legs. I'll see you in. If you've been following these videos, you will know, and I hope you have by the way, you will know that I hate legs. I hate doing legs, but I've always done them. Uh, I'm not a particularly big fan of squats because it puts a lot of strain and pressure on the knees. As you get older, your joints tend to break down. I'm quite lucky because I did a lot of core and a lot of power building. So we'll come through the ranks in terms of um, strength and in terms of joint strength as well. So I don't really suffer with anything. So I put them in because they are an excellent way of doing leg development, but I don't particularly enjoy it. I prefer to use machines other than a Smith machine. For comfort, we've got the old pad on because the last thing you need to do when you're, when you're squatting is to be uncomfortable. I've upped the weight. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper, not massively, but a little bit deeper, because again, it's all about the intensity. Okay, I'm going to do the other two sets because like I say, you're only cheating yourself and I will see. Because we're not training in real time, I've already done calf raises, I've already done uh, hamstring curls because like I was saying, it's just like a nasty Although it's getting prettier because I'm uh, on session 27. I've already done two sets of this and this is the last set because we want to talk a bit about nutrition at the end. So, final set, here we go. Again, if you do it right, you're out of breath, your muscles are in fatigue. Because they're in fatigue, it means you've depleted all the protein within the muscle. Therefore, it needs to be replenished. It's replenished via food. Food of, can be whitefish, can be chicken, can be um, turkey. So, really good source if you're vegetarian, obviously look at corn options and stuff like that. Okay, there are vegetarian proteins as well. There are vegan proteins, so there's no excuse not to have a protein shake. If you want them from the UK, you can get them at definitionnutrition.com. It's right here along there, it's my, my company. It's vital, it's not just because, I, I used them before I had a protein company. When I used them 30 years ago, they tasted like cardboard. Now they taste like, you know, a fast food outlet uh, milkshake. However, they haven't got the calories in, they haven't got the fats in, they've got really good nutritional sources in, they're really pure, uh, all ours are made in the UK, so for instance I would advise you to take lean protein, which is 31 grams of protein, which is really high, 1.2 grams of fat, which is really low, 2.7 carbs, which is low, and then it's got CLA, green tea, L-carnitine, red ketones, etc, etc, etc. Remember, you can follow it, at Definition Nutrition on Instagram. You can follow us on Twitter at Definition MD and you can get the lovely supplement straight from me because always, and it is true, it's just nutrition that defines you.